Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Krups 12 ounce Simply Brew single serve coffee maker. So it does come with this 12 ounce travel mug. It's got a nice lid. We can open and close the lid. If we open it, it does screw on. So the coffee maker is very easy. You gotta plug it in, turn it on over here, and then we're gonna hit the start switch. Let's measure, so you can brew into a seven inch travel mug. So up here, this is the brew head. You've got the uh, reusable filter basket. I can hold three, almost four tablespoons of coffee in there. Here's the brew basket. This has to be installed. This is where the water is gonna go back here. You're gonna put up to 12 ounces. So you can brew just eight ounces, then just put like one tablespoon of coffee in here. It's gonna brew whatever amount of water you put back here. When you hit the start button, that's the amount it's gonna brew, but it only holds up to 12 ounces. So put this in. This is got like a plastic filter material. These are dishwasher safe. The machine is not dishwasher safe. Okay, so let's pour our water in the back. I'm gonna do the full 12 ounces. Let's put our coffee right there in the coffee filter. I'm gonna put three tablespoons. Okay, so I'm gonna close the lid. Make sure you snap it. Turn the switch on over here. I'm gonna turn it to the up position then hit the start button. The start button will turn green. Okay, so I started a stopwatch. It starts brewing right away, and we'll, we'll check some temperatures along the way. Okay, so let's get a sneak peek up here. Okay, so the water coming out of the brew head is about 198, I've seen. Okay, so let's check the temperature of the coffee coming out the bottom, about 180, I've seen. Yeah, 179, 180. Okay, so we're going on two minutes. Let's take a sneak peek. Okay, so three minutes. Sounds like it's getting pretty close to being done. Yeah, so we're just letting the rest of that drip out the bottom there. Again, 195 coming out the bottom. That's a very hot cup of coffee, be careful. So at the three minute mark, it is pretty much done. It's got to drip a little bit. The green light went out. Now when I'm done, I do need to turn this switch off over here. We're gonna let it finish dripping for a minute. Okay, so let's take it out. Again, even this, this mug is pretty hot, so be careful. Let's check the temperature of the coffee in there. 176, yeah, that's a very hot cup of coffee. Okay, so let's lift this up. Be careful, this will be hot, but you can see it did a good job with the coffee grounds. Okay, so I have to add a little bit of cream and sugar. Let's pour it into this cup here. Now you may notice you do get some sediment in the bottom of your cup. That's because you're using a reusable filter. If you, now you cannot use a paper filter on this, but coffee makers that use a paper filter, that's how they prevent sediment. But I think it adds a little bit of flavor to it. Okay, so let's give this a taste. Mm, that's a very good cup of coffee. This made a very good cup of coffee, very rich. I can vary that if I don't like it this strong. I can add just two tablespoons of coffee. I think I could go, to, go up to almost four tablespoons of coffee in that filter before it would overflow. Because you can see the water came up to right about here, so I could add a little bit more coffee to that before it would start overflowing. So cleanup is very simple. You can take this out and get rid of your coffee grounds. So it's a fast coffee maker. I like being able to put up to a seven inch travel mug in there. And again, the coffee tastes really good. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.